today we will be discussing three different types of uh, interactions and all of these have to do with plate tectonic movements and so the three are going to be either convergent, divergent, or transform and they can happen either continental, continental, continental oceanic or oceanic, oceanic and depending on which of these it is there's different things that can be formed which I'll be showing you in like a second now depending on which one of these reactions you get um, a variety of things can be created from mountains to volcanoes to even earthquakes taking a look at uh, each one of these individually this would be an example of a convergent interaction uh, we'll just look at an oceanic continental collision and what happens is these two things converge and since the ocean floor is uh, more dense, older, it subducts under this um, continental crust, which in this case creates volcanoes because the magma is pushed up from the bottom to the surface, uh, making volcanoes on the shoreline. And in addition, also usually creates earthquakes as well, which would be an example of a convergent interaction. Switching up from this, these convergent collisions, we also have divergent um, reactions, which are when basically two parts of the Earth's crust separate. Um, an example of these would be mid-ocean ridges are a great example of how this happens. Is these convection currents from the mantle in the Earth um, basically rip apart the uh, ocean floor and so it that doesn't make sense diver diverges these layers never mind but it um basically just pulls these things apart uh and with this magma here too bringing in new uh ocean crust as well which creates these mid-ocean ridges which is a great example of um a divergent interaction Last but not least, we have the transverse uh, interactions. And basically all this is is a parallel movement. Um, these plates slide against each other, um, which really doesn't create anything too major except, well, I guess major, because it creates massive earthquakes, which that would be really scary. But that is what the, this does. So there's really no subduction um, none of that. All these are doing is plates just sliding against each other, and that's basically what a transverse interaction is. Quick review. Um, we have here on top shown two uh, crusts moving away from each other, divergent. Uh, in the second example, we have two crusts converging into each other. Uh, one of them is subducting as well. And uh, so this would be an example of a convergent interaction. And seen on the bottom, we have two plates just sliding parallel uh, right past each other. So this would be an example of a transverse interaction. And so to conclude, uh, there are three major um, shifts in Earth's crusts that happen. Divergent, convergent, and uh, transverse. And yeah, um, a lot of these also have to do with uh, our good explanation of how volcanoes, mountains are formed and as well as uh, the earth moving around having to do with the mid-ocean ridges, uh, how earth has been an ever-changing uh, cycle.